Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. We are finally going to be talking about and reviewing the brand new release from Colored Rain. This is their Safari Rain eyeshadow palette. Now this palette has nine shadows on the inside. It retails for $39 and oh my God, is the color story absolutely stunning. When I saw the collection of shades, I was instantly drawn in. It's very unique. The packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and if you guys have watched my channel before, I have talked about Colored Rain's shadow formula so much. I am a huge fan. I own the Queen of Hearts palette from them, and it is hands down one of, if not my favorite eyeshadow palette. Their mattes are just so pigmented, but blendable, buttery smooth, easy to use. They just pack a punch. I feel like Colored Rain's formula is like the perfect mix of pretty much everything. Think of your favorite eyeshadow palette and be like, uh, you know, it's my favorite, but if I could just tweak this, or if the color story just had, you know, this shade in it, that's where Colored Rain comes in. I feel like it's like all your favorite things from all your favorite palettes put into one, if that makes any sense. I have just never had any issues with blending, pigmentation, ease of use, longevity with these shadows. They are just absolutely breathtaking. Hold on one second, my cat is crying. Sometimes when I shut my beauty room door, my cat gets really sad and he likes to go into my room and take socks in his mouth and essentially cry. Does anyone else have a cat that does this? It just sounds awful and I feel so bad when he does it. And I'll open the door and he'll just be sitting there with like a sock in his mouth or just laying in front of him and then he just looks totally normal. Anyways, cutest cat ever, love him to death, but I don't know how to fix that. Anyways, what we were talking about, uh, let's see here, where did I leave off? The formula, the longevity, just their metallics are next to none. I just feel like their formula is so special, underrated, and I just wish more people were talking about this brand because it is just absolutely fantastic. So we are gonna go ahead and be talking about this palette. I have these shadows on my eyes right now, and oh my God, can we talk about this eyeshadow look? <sighs> stunning, right? So we'll go over some swatches, just talk about the color story, what I have on my eyes. I'm just going to give you guys overall a quick review of this palette. So at first glance, when I looked at the shades, I was instantly drawn in, but I was also like, oh man, like, what am I going to do? There are so many beautiful possibilities with this. Um, and at first I didn't really know what to do because my mind was just kind of like in overdrive. There were so many possibilities. Finally, I was like, well, maybe I want to do like just like a warm tone. I was going to stick with just like clay and tigress and monarch or matriarch, matriarch, excuse me, and lioness. But then I was like, no, you know what? Green Valley is calling my name. So I decided to just kind of jazz it up a bit. When I review an eyeshadow palette, I like to use as many of the shades in the palette as possible. That way I can really give you guys a true first impressions review of a palette. So let's go ahead and go over some swatches. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and go over some swatches here. We're starting with the top row. This is the shade Toucan. Then we have a matte shade called Clay and then a foiled shadow called Tigress. Then in the second row, we have a matte shade Congo Basin, a metallic shade Green Valley, and then another matte shade Jungle. And then the last row, which has to be my favorite by far swatched, we have a shade here called Lioness. This shade is absolutely stunning. That is one swipe color. You guys, there is something about Color Rain's shadow formula. I keep saying it, I know. It is just so so good. Then we have another metallic shade, Amazon Basin. And then last is beautiful chocolate brown matriarch. These swatches are beyond impressive. This color story is so stunning. I am in love with this. Let's go ahead and talk about what's on my eyes right now. So I started off with clay as my transition shade and just blended that out with a super fluffy crease brush and I just kept building and building and building. And as you can see, it blended out beautifully. What I love about this particular shade is that it is easy to build up. It's very dimensional. You can blend it out to like a sheer wash of color or you can go in a little bit deeper and create dimension. And that is exactly what I did. Clay is the only shade right now on my in my crease, essentially. That is it. I just blew it out. It's just absolutely breathtaking and blended 
gorgeously. I then deepened up the outer corner with the shade Matriarch right here, which again is a beautiful deep chocolatey brown shade that blended effortlessly. So that's what you see on the outer corner here. Then for the middle most part of my lid, I went in with the shade Green Valley right here. It is such a unique, beautiful, bright, but deep green shade. I can't even really describe it. It's just like the perfect green and it does scream safari. So the color story in here, I will mention, is completely on par with the theme of the palette. Then I wanted to brighten it up a bit. So kind of in the inner portion of the eye, I went in with Toucan right here. And this is just a gorgeous gold color that just blended seamlessly into Green Valley. I just feel like there's like a safari on my eyes. It makes me feel so tropical and and fun and I just absolutely love this look. And then on the inner corner, I took Lioness and I did mix it with a little bit of my own highlight out of my Tarte Pro Glow and Blush palette because this is actually really very foiled, almost like a pressed glitter. It is in tense but absolutely beautiful. So I mixed in a little bit of that. I put that on the inner corner and on the brow bone. Then on the lower lash line, I just took clay again and just built that up with a pencil brush and just kind of blew that out on the lower lash line. And then on the water line, I used, I don't know where it went. It was right in front of me. I used my ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Teaspoon. It's kind of like a teal green. I just thought it'd be really cool and like a pop of color and would just really add to the orange and the gold in this look. Obviously, overall, I am extremely impressed with this formula. These metallics, you guys, are so beautiful. They are dimensional, reflective, and absolutely gorgeous on the lid. That is one thing about colored rain shadows that I have found thus far is that they are never muddy. Every single color can work together and will blend together. There is absolutely nothing in this palette that would end up muddy if you mix the shades. Um, and I think that has a lot to do with like color wheel and color stories. They were very smart with this. Like even this bluish teal shade jungle right here, you could again put clay all in the crease and then blend this all over the lid and then take Toucan for like a pop of gold right in the center. Again, clay is your transition shade. You can go in with this green Congo Basin and then either go in with Toucan or Lioness. Green Valley, even Amazon Basin. I mean, literally all of these colors just blend in with each other beautifully. Like there are so many different combinations of colors that you can come up with with this palette, which is kind of strange. And again, I have to give it to them. Whoever came up with this color story and the theme for this palette was extremely smart because it is unique and you've got this unique kind of jungle tone, rainforesty, earthy tones together, yet they all work. I am so excited to continue to play with this, um, mix and match with my Queen of Hearts palette. You guys, this palette is a total win for $39 and the formula, the packaging feels amazing. You've got this nice giant mirror, by the way, you guys. I saved it for you guys so I could do it on camera. I love peeling the plastic off things. I talked about that in my last video, but it's got a fantastic mirror on the inside. The packaging is A+. plus. It's so pretty. I can't speak enough about this. If you are interested in colors like this and you feel like this is like that hole in your collection that's been missing, I definitely suggest picking it up because... I think it speaks for itself with the look I have on my eyes right now. It is absolutely breathtaking. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought about this palette. Do you plan on picking it up? Did you already pick it up? What are your thoughts on it? I'd love to hear your guys' feedback and what you're thinking about these releases and these launches. Do you want to see me do more looks with this palette? If so, what kind of shades would you like to see me dip into as far as a tutorial? Give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it, shared, and of course, be sure to subscribe to my channel before you go and hit the bell button. The bell button is really the new subscribe button. So there we are with that. Um, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me here for 10, 15 minutes or so. I appreciate it. It means the world to me that you are here watching. I love you guys and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye guys.